Hi, in this uh, video from Rajasthan, India, we describe the difficulties in performing phaco emulsification in patients who have kyphosis and other problems which make it difficult for them to lie supine. There are many conditions that cause difficulty in positioning during phaco surgery which include orthopedic problems like kyphosis and spondylitis, neurological and psychological problems, uh, cardiopulmonary problems uh, which cause orthopnea and the patients may have severe dyspnea while lying flat and other miscellaneous conditions like Meniere's disease which may induce vomiting when the patient lies supine. Now we had this patient who was a 56 years old gentleman and who had severe kyphosis. Uh, it was difficult for him to sit or walk straight and he could not lie supine or flat on the bed to get a cataract surgery done. He consulted many ophthalmologists for his cataract but they were all uncomfortable in performing a cataract surgery on this particular patient. So we did a literature search and we found that some authors had described a few modifications which could be adopted for these cases uh, to perform a FACO and these included keeping the patient virtually reclining uh, with the neck extended uh, as far as possible so that the head was in a familiar position for the surgeon to keep the patient in a Trendelenburg position and again uh, it was it made the position comfortable and familiar for the surgeon. Some authors also described uh, the surgeon could assume a side saddle position with the surgeon uh, sitting parallel to the operation theatre table or an article also described a face-to-face -face position where the surgeon was actually facing the patient and the microscope was tilted uh, to perform phaco emulsification through an inferior or an inferior temporal clear corneal incision. So some of these reminded us of the ancient surgery of couching like in this particular photograph where the doctor, the assistant and the patient are all seated and the couching is being done. In our particular patient uh, who had the severe kyphosis, we decided to keep the patient seated on the operating table with the legs folded. The back of the patient was supported by many pillows and the surgeon was in a standing position to perform phaco emulsification surgery. The microscope and other conditions were as usual. So as you can see here, this is the patient who is comfortably seated at about 70 degrees. The surgeon is standing and uh, performing the surgery through a clear corneal temporal incision. Once we decided that the patient and the surgeon were both comfortable in this position and a mock drill had been performed, the patient was cleaned and prepared. Uh, here the side port and main incision is being made and uh, then the surgery was fairly standard using the uh, normal uh, uh, parameters but we must remember that the bottle height should be adjusted because the head of these patients is much above the operation theatre table so adjustments to the bottle height have to be made accordingly. Uh, in this particular case we used low power and low fluidic parameters because this was a grade 3 soft cataract. It is important to ensure that the surgeon is well experienced and can handle these cases and it is also important that these surgeries should be done in a quick and efficient manner because these patients can become restless at any point during the surgery so it is crucial to finish the surgery in as short a time as possible. Here an air mode transverse uh, ellipse ultrasound in the signature FACO machine was used. Any maneuvers that can be used to hasten the surgery and to make it more efficient for these restless patients is a welcome addition in the uh, techniques that the surgeon is using. Uh, it is also important to do cardiac monitoring in these patients because many of these patients are, have cardiopulmonary compromise and they are anyway unsuitable for general anesthesia. So the best uh, technique is to use topical anesthesia supplemented with intracameral anesthetics and to uh, have crucial uh, to and to have monitoring of the vital parameters all throughout the surgery. So the surgery was uh, performed in a regular fashion. This is the irrigation aspiration being done. As you can see, uh, the surgery went pretty well. Uh, we implanted an AMO sensor IOL in this particular patient. Uh, which is one of the uh, our preferred IOLs and uh, as you can see here this is the uh, IOL being implanted using an AMO emerald injector. The IOL was put in the capsular bag and was dialed well into position. Uh, all the maneuvers here have to be extremely gentle because uh, the cooperation of the patient cannot be taken for granted and if uh, some of these patients also have uh, a t tendency to move during the surgery it makes it even more difficult. So uh, it is as uh, again important to uh, emphasize that the surgeon should be well experienced in handling these difficult cases and the incisions were then sealed 
and then we also injected intracameral moxifloxacin that is vigamox uh, into the uh, anterior chamber as is a standard practice for all cases on the first post operative day uh, this uh, patient had a vision of 66 and aided and uh, the result was extremely gratifying and as expected the patient was quite happy with the surgical result and the cornea was clear and uh, there was uh, no problem in the surgery so to summarize there are many conditions which uh, make adopt a flat supine so position during the surgery and many of these patients can be managed by making some adjustments to the operating chair or the operating table and using lot of pillows to keep the patient well supported and this makes the uh, position of the patient quite familiar for the surgeon to perform phacoemulsification. However, if all these maneuvers are not helpful, then it is the surgeon who has to adopt an unfamiliar position. And for the surgeon to adopt a standing position while doing phacoemulsification surgery can enable phacoemulsification in many of these difficult patients where the patient is virtually sitting up on the operation theater table. Once we decide to perform uh, the phacoemulsification in these kind of positions, we must make sure that the patient and the surgeon are both comfortable. It is also advisable to do a mock drill before starting the surgery. Uh, once the surgeon is in a standing position, uh, the surgeon obviously cannot use both the microscope and the phaco foot pedal simultaneously. So we must adjust the microscope position carefully and then keep one foot steady and use the other foot for the phaco foot pedal control. Many times these cases are postponed and delayed to the point where they become ultra dense and the risk of complications increases so we must not delay them unnecessarily. Uh, so I hope this will be useful for some patients who have a difficult uh, positioning problems. Thank you very much.